Hi guys, it's me, Ricky. Um, I had gotten a lot of Ricky, can you do makeup tutorials? Have you ever thought about doing makeup tutorials on the first video that me and AB had made together? Honestly, I've never thought about doing them, so this is my first one that I'm doing. And I'm going to be doing this look that I have right now. And I got my buns going on, as you can see. And go ahead, subscribe to our videos. Yeah, go ahead, watch, and I hope you like. Bye. Or not bye, just watch. And I'm kind of just winging it. I have no clue what I'm doing, so I'm probably going to go back and edit a lot of things, but it's okay. Get my hair all out of the way. I don't know why I didn't do this first before I started the video. Oh, I should have got two ponytails. I usually put two ponytails in my hair because I have so much hair. One ponytail doesn't cut it because my hair weighs it down and then it sags later. So look at this big old lion mane. Oh, I seriously have like two, three times as much hair as most girls I know. No kidding. Like this is like a most girls ponytail. This is my ponytail. Anyways, I have absolutely no makeup on as you can see. I got pimples and everything. It's like everybody else. My skin complexion of course isn't the greatest as everybody thinks it is. It's just makeup that covers. And all my stuff, you can buy everything at your grocery store, CVS, Walgreens. So the foundation that I use is the True Match L'Oreal. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Put a little shadow over that. I've watched makeup tutorials before, so. Anyways, my color that I use is the W3, the Nude Beige. That's my color, and the funny thing is, is that my shadow and my foundation are two different colors. For some reason, it just works for me. So I use my little, my, I think I call it like a stippler brush? Yeah, stipple brush. I have a small one. I've never found a large one yet, but I like my little small one. It works for me. A lot of people put the foundation on their hand, like right here. I don't like doing that, only because I feel like... I'm kind of wasting it. Even though you're brushing it off, you're also smearing it on your hands. So I feel like I'm wasting some of my foundation, which I don't like to do that. So what I do, kind of shake it, get the foundation all around the rim of the top, and I get my brush and I just kind of swoop it around the top of my of my bottle. Gets me just enough. So I'll, I do that first. Start on my forehead, circle, 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 come down. And the thing I love about these little stipple brushes is the fact that they spread your foundation very well. I am not an expert by no means. Am I a makeup professional? Everything that I do, I, I guess, taught myself, you could say. So I'm pretty sure I do a lot of things wrong. So forgive me if I do a lot of things wrong, but at the same time, hey, it works for me, so why not? And besides, y'all are the ones telling me, can we get makeup tutorials? So obviously y'all like it too. That's good. Okay, one silly thing that I do or what works for me when putting my makeup on is for eye powder only my eyes first. And that's because a lot of times when you use dark shadows, the dark shadows end up like falling and you have like the dust like under here and stuff. So whenever I'm done shadowing, then I'll take my little stipple brush and I'll kind of wipe it and then can, then put the concealer and then powder the rest of my face. So my powder, again, true match. And this one, oh shoot, this one's W3. I think I usually get N3 on this one, but this one's W3. This one I actually bought matching my foundation, which I never do. They were probably out of it. I don't remember. So... And I use, yeah, e.l.f. brand, it says Total Face Brush. So it's a little powder brush. e.l.f. brand, it's a $1 at the grocery store. Awesome. And I like it. It does the job. And so I think my stipple brush I got for a dollar too. I think that's the e.l.f. brand too. Anyways, so powder. And I do just my eyes first, like I said. Because this works for me. This is one of my favorite eyeshadows. Not the one I got from the Dollar Tree, but a different one. And this too is from L'Oreal. It's Studio Secrets Professional something something. It's kind of old. I've had it for a while, so the top of it's like fading out. But, oh, Hip Studio Secrets. It's a metallic shadow and it's the Electrified. There you go. And this is the second one I've gone through. Now, as you can see, this one here, it's sort of like a taupe ish color. It's really pretty. One of my favorites. And again, e.l.f. brand, brush, dollar, very small. As you can see, nice little shadow brush. 
So I just kind of dip it in, my favorite color here. And then I usually go only about from the inner corner to about three quarters of the way out. Since I'm almost done with it, I haven't seen this in the stores lately. So I was kind of sad about it. And so I went, one day I was at Victoria's Secret shopping. And of course Victoria's Secret has like a little bit of their makeup and stuff. And I found this one very very similar it is a shimmer shadow shimmer eyeshadow and it's the dusk color very similar so whenever I run out of this one I'm going to this one I always clear my brushes off I just get a towel or toilet paper or something and I just wipe off like the excess of what was on there before so that I kind of have a clean brush I guess to begin my next shadow now this one here is the one that I got from the Dollar Tree that I first found at HB for eight bucks this one here is my favorite shadow. It's like a goldeny, bronzy. I don't know what color you would say this is, but it's beautiful. That's what I say, color. Now I'm gonna go from the outer corner and brush in. And I kind of come up a little, get it right under the brow bone. time especially when I do the dark colors like I said a lot of it falls and I can kind of see the the first color on the inside is on the bottom here a little bit so I get my little stubble brush I don't put any more foundation just whatever's on there I kind of just sweep it off clean up the edge a little here now concealer I just use it's the cover girl what is this cover girl just the this one this concealer and the shade that I use the beige so then Come right under here. So I got my concealer on. I like to pat. Don't wipe. I don't like to wipe. I kind of pat it, as you can see. Got that done. Dark circles are gone. Yay, I don't look half dead anymore. That's good. More powder now. I go ahead and I powder the rest of my face. Here I'm looking up like at my mirror behind my laptop. Sorry. Don't think I'm ignoring you, baby. I got you. A lot of times I will take that same kind of bronzy shadow, my favorite one from the Dollar Tree, and I have a small little angled brush, and you can see that. Same color. Kind of dip it in there. And then I come right underneath. And I do my lash line. And it kind of gets in my eyes sometimes too. I just kind of not for the weak stomach. I use both liquid and pencil. The reason I do that is because I like the way, like the smooth creaminess, I guess, the way that the liquid eyeliner does. But I have trouble doing just the liquid without using the pencil as a guide first. I'm weird like that. I don't know. I can't do... I wish I could, but I can't. Okay, so what I do is I come... And literally, it's like a crayon. See that? Boom, baby. And then I always kind of make sure that this end is a little bit thicker. So bring it up. Bring it up a little, and then bring it kind of straight towards the middle of the, the, the lash line, and then kind of come down with the rest, you know what I mean? So it looks like that. Oh, my eyeliner, by the way, this pencil is a cover girl, like I said earlier. I think it's called, like, Perfect Point. Perfect Point Plus, and the one that I get is the Black Onyx. I use the Revlon Color Stay, and this one is Blackest Black. I've tried other eyeliners, but I like the tip on this one because the tip isn't too flimsy. 
kind of tried to do my liquid without my pencil. And that line looked horrible. Okay, so I got that. So you can see the difference. Like how much like blacker this line is than just the regular pencil. That's what I like about the liquid is that it makes it darker, it makes it bolder, it makes it stand out more. I got that eye done, now I gotta go for the other eye. I hate when I do that, I have a double chin. Yikes. So I hate, I have no chin, like, see, I wish I had a chin, but I don't. So then you see my waddle a lot, and that's not good, but it's okay. First couple of times I did my liquid liner, I had trouble. The more and more I did it and practiced with it, the more I got better at it. So, ta-da. As you can see, like I said, the corners, Slightly bigger. Now, I always do the wing because AB likes it. He's the one that got me doing the wing eyeliner. I never did it before. I don't even remember what I used to do before I did the wing. But he likes it. He got me into it. He says it sucks though. Just like my hot buns. I start it just like that. Some people, whenever they do it, they start from the bottom and then connect to the top of the liner. I do it the opposite way just because it works better for me. So I do that, start from where the eyeliner started, bring it out to where I want it, and then connect it down. And then, of course, I go ahead and I fill in that little gap, the little space there, so that I have the solid. So it looks like that. Ta -da. If I'm a little quiet, so I actually was going to play music, but then I was afraid that y'all wouldn't be able to hear me talk. But now I'm going to say screw it and I'm going to put music on from my phone just because I'm getting a little bored here. No offense, not that you guys are boring or anything. I'm not trying to say that, so don't get offended. We'll play this one. I got ADD in case you can't tell. Just like case it's not as bad as AB. Okay, filling in this side over here now. I'm gonna want my wing to come out a little more. This is the basis of the wing. This is where I start. I wish I could do my makeup like this, just straight into the camera, but I like my depth perception and like it's backwards too, so I can't do that. That's, that'd be cool if I could. Some girls can do that. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't graduated to that stuff yet. I put, so I kind of gauge right about where I want the, it, it to stop. Right about there. Okay. There's my wing I just formed. Boom, baby. So we went from this, a little small, little small edge, to a pretty little wing. Okay? And like I said, all I did was kind of bring it out to where I wanted it to start, brought it in, and then I just kind of connected that line into the little basis part that I have here. Do this side. That side. Right? That side. Now, one thing because I usually get a little bit of the eye of the liquid liner on my lashes. What I do is I take a old dry brush, mascara brush, just plain like this, and I'll kind of dust off my lashes. Cause if I go straight from the liner to mascara. It kind of, like, the mascara goes on kind of sticky, like, once the liner dries. It's kind of a little bit harder for me to put the ma to put the mascara on. Hold on, i got to change this song. Y'all aren't supposed to hear that. That's from the new album. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay. So, I like I said, I'll kind of just get this dry. So, I'll roll inwards, but I pull the brush out. And then under, I roll out. I don't know why I do that. Kind of back, forth, back, forth, back, and forth. Works for me. Okay, now I'm going to go for my mascara, which I absolutely love mascara. And when I say I love mascara, I put like three or four coats on. I just, I love mascara. I love lashes, big lashes. I already have long lashes. So I like to make them thick. So I use, I absolutely love the Colossal Mascara by Maybelline, and this one is, I think, Glam Black. Glam Black. I love Glam Black. I always hear, don't pump it, because you're pushing air into it. When you do that, you push air into your mascara, and that's not good. It dries it out. But I do, I swirl it. Do this. 
that looks bad, but you have a dirty mind. And then I just put it on. And the good thing that I like about this is sometimes when putting my mascara on, I may get like a few little dots like up in here. So then again, I just get my little dry brush and I just kind of scratch them off. And it comes right off. It's awesome. So put that on. So I just do this. La -da 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 -da. And I'll probably do more makeup tutorials too. Different shadow colors. Oh, we got some... We got some George playing. I don't know if you can hear that or not. And I always like to concentrate like on the outer. I don't know why I just do that. This is one coat of mascara, people. So this is so far, and I ain't done yet. Next, wall. Oh, I just, I just did that. Sorry, my nose is itchy. <laughs> my nose tickled. Okay, so I got that. Let this coat of mascara dry, and I only do one coat on the bottom lash. It's the top lashes that I go crazy, and I do like three, four. If I'm going out, I might even do five. <laughs> Next, I do bronzer, and I have one of these, you can see that, Ta -da 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 -da. it's again a elf brush, I think it's an elf brush. My bronzer that I use is Sun and Bronze by the NYC brand, you can see that, and I don't know, oh, it's number 708 Coney Island Glow, can you see that? This is what I use. And so it has the dark bronzer with a little bit of a lighter bronzer. I don't know if you could use that for highlighting. I don't think so because it's a little too dark to highlight. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Get this brush and I just swoop, swirl it all in there. And I start probably about mid cheekbone down. And I start like on the underside of my cheekbone. You can kind of see I have cheekbone in the shadow here. So I just kind of like to accentuate that shadow. I start right about here and I brush up. And then I also do like right in here behind, behind like my eye, I guess. And then a little more, and I bring it down just a little bit more. I start mid, and then I bring it down because I don't want my, I don't want my bronzer line to start here because I don't want it to be real harsh. So I start it here, and then I come down and I kind of try to like blend it up just so that the line isn't like I said really harsh. That's why I do that. So I got that. Hey, look, I have cheekbone now. And I've seen contouring videos where they do here, here, right underneath, a little underneath. I have cheekbones. All of a sudden. Now blush. Again, cover girl. And this color is Rose Silk, number 105. And I don't like the little... The little brushes that come in there, I just throw them away. My blush brush is huge. I don't know why, but I like the big blush brush. And then I kind of like pinch it, squeeze it with my fingers to make it kind of long, I guess. So, like I said, pinch it, squeeze it, make it long, dab, 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 not too much. And here I come on the cheekbone. Yeah, but it gives a little bit more of a pink on top. Yeah, you can see that kind of. Same on this side. Come back with the powder, and I clean up on the bottom here. And on the top. Right here. Down my laugh lines. Now I go back and I put some more mascara. It's coat number two. Uh, 
a little bit of Steven Tyler here, baby. And a lot of times, when I'm doing it on the corner, some people kind of do this number. I don't like to do that, so I'll roll it and then push out. And a lot of people are always afraid to put a lot of mascara on or put it on the way that I put it on because they're always they always say that they're afraid that their lashes are going to clump or whatever. As you're putting it on, work the clumps out. underneath your bed and I'll sleep with my boots on you're still in my head I'm gonna change my song so stupid that thing keeps popping up on my phone still that was so not planned I promise it just came on next I hit the next button my phone's on shuffle I tell them they should play this song when they perform What am I doing? Oh, let that dry. Look, I'm almost done. Now, my eyebrows. I actually use an eyeliner for my eyebrows. A lot of people actually have eyebrow pencils. What just happened to my music? Oh. Okay. Um, so the liner that I use for my eyebrows is the All May Intense Eye Color. And it's actually the pencil that they have for blue eyes. But just the color of it goes really good once it's on my eyebrows. And it is brown topaz number two. I have verbs right now. Sorry, guys. I don't know why. I'll try to edit them out, maybe. Okay, I come in. And I don't, like, push, but I kind of just, like, color on the hair itself. You know what I mean? So I kind of do 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 I don't know what the hell that just was. Now I don't want it to be like a a line, so I always kind of bring it out to kind of smooth out that line. And I have little baby hairs on top that I feel kind of make the top look like jaggedy, I guess. So then I always come just barely right on top of my or my my brow hair and just kind of include those baby hairs in so you can see that before and after oh my phone's ringing I swear that came on next Do you know what song this is nerd so what okay a lot of times I kind of feel like maybe because the pencil might be a little too dark for me my phone keeps ringing sorry my friend Veronica keeps texting me um, so I'll get the same little brush that I used earlier, and I'll kind of just brush through, and it'll lighten up the line just a little, make it look a little bit more natural. Come down this way, same on this side. That's almost my whole face now. So coat number three. So here's me. Hearing Cell on my phone, she's encouraged me to put some red lipstick on. So, starting with my lip liner, NYX brand, and it is Plush Red number 813. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this on. And I did my lip liner. I would like to kind of drag it down a little, just kind of make it a little bit more thick looking. So I'm kind of come back and pull this down a little, add a little. Oh, my jaw just popped sweat. So I got my lip liner on. Ta-da. And the color, again, NYX brand, and it's Soft Matte Lip Cream, number 01. It's Amsterdam. I have put these on my on my uh, my Instagram. I have put them on my Instagram. I got pictures, and that way y'all can see with pictures of the color on me, with just the, the things by themselves. I didn't put the lip liner, though, but it doesn't matter. This is my pretty much kind of everyday look, except a lot of times I don't do the lipstick. A lot of times I'll just put on chapstick, because I love chapstick, I love the way it feels. Anyways, so this is it. Some other times I will go back and also put a purpley kind of color. Still from that same Dollar Tree little palette, this purple right here. It's kind of like a pinkyish, purplish kind of color. Sometimes I put it on, sometimes I don't. I forgot to add that in there earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and add it now just so that way you can see what it looks like without it. My finished look without it. And I put this just in the crease. And I'll kind of bring it up just a little bit just to blend it out. Why this brow goes up higher? I'm not doing that. Am I doing that? I might be doing that. I think so. Oh well. So that's that. This is my finished face. Get my hair out of the way. I'm gonna bun up. For those of you that like my bun, um, like Mr. hates my buns. I like my buns. My bun is really crooked. It's okay. This is my finished face. La da da. Ta di da di da. And then say if you want to go from this look, you've had this look on all day, and then you're going to decide to go out at night. Okay, remember the little angled brush that I used earlier? And the brush I'm about to show you right now are both Sonia something. I got these at Target. Okay, going out tonight. Woo! Friday night, me and Avery are getting ready to go out. NYX Black. I just take this little brush right here. Lightly dab it in there because black goes a long way. And then corner. So you'll want to get your pencil eyeliner and kind of dry off your waterline. I do just because I feel like it kind of helps the eyeliner to stay on a little better. And just oh, on the waterline. On the lash line. Bring it out. Bring it out. And done. This is my finished look. Um, from absolutely no makeup at all to a day look. To switch it up to bring it just a nice little evening night look. Thank you for watching and I hope I wasn't too boring. But thanks. I need my husband here to entertain with me. I don't know. This is it. Signing off for now. And I will see you guys later. Bye.